And that's that's it's a standard thing, and and that. W- okay. Just on 26 minutes remaining, no ways ridden just yet. You can see the surface sitting out there. Barton, give us a, a rundown on what the conditions are doing. Well, contenders continue to enter this lineup. He'll be giving us updates on the vibe, the atmosphere, whether they're looking nervous. No concerns for the uh, the top surfers at this stage this morning. Chloe Andino winning through in his heat, uh, a victory. And Geordie Smith out there at the moment and coming out of the barrel to kick things off. One thing that you, you can reflect on with Geordie Smith and his evolution to this point is wherever he's made himself at home, he's had great competitive success. Jeffrey's Bay obviously grew up uh, surfing that wave. Back-to-back victories at that venue, always a threat, always dropping big numbers. At that inside position, stalls, pulls in, and then comes out quite quickly, but it was a good move because that did close out further down the reef, but only a 2.5 there for Geordie. Just so casual as, as he punched through that. It's got so much power over here. Without a continental shelf, those swells just come and unload on that reef with all the energy, Geordie, again. We'll keep him busy now. Out there without priority, just trying to do exactly what... Toledo did in that last heat and that is build a, a bit of a lead um, yeah and I, I've been through a lot actually you know my baby boy has been sick for, for a couple days now and I've been to the doctor with him twice like three in the morning and just like oh what's going on you know it just feels good to be around family you know um, uh, you know all the love from home to my dad my mom you know it's 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 been amazing finding sanctuary in the water and we have to ask you yourself physically how are you feeling I feel I feel good I feel really good I feel 100% for sure uh, you know especially when he, when he, you know it comes to barrels it's uh, you know I'm not pushing too much more people in in a world title race the more chances there are that those storylines can come into in, into effect here we go Pedersen oh. Crisanto Pedersen Crisanto He's the surfer who's actually in 22nd position, and David Silva not too far ahead of him on the, the CT ratings in 21st position. A little further back on the qualifying series, he needs to get it done here. 79th on the QS, has to save himself with the big performance at the final event. Drives into that barrel, gets it, gets out clean. Who uh, had a magic triple crown run, uh, which ended yesterday. Here we go, Marias, locked in. Just for a brief moment, though. Yeah, in the third priority, he figured, well, may as well. That was a little wave, so I don't imagine the judges getting too excited by that one. There was some tube time, definitely, but it got a bit white watery and frothy because it was so inside when it even started to break. Definitely uh, has a, a new comfort factor out here, and you can see the technique spot on. Been watching him just during the, the last couple of days, those bigger oh. swells as he just tweaks that board on a beautiful backside flight. Get a look at some replays here. Geordie just fading it back on the entry. And nice, easy paddle in. Really lovely little tube. And then, although the judges aren't going to get that excited about the turn, to me, just that finishing, that control, and that maximizing of your opportunities is such an important thing. We see this angle just leans back. The, the weight was forward, driving off the bottom, then just led back to keep control, came out of that tube and just went for this lovely little rock and roll floater, tail drops, and then just controls it beautifully. And the finish. But he's been really charging hard as we see Pettis Pettis and Crisanto there holding on a wobbly takeoff. Critical drop, you can see the board quivering underneath him. Geordie brought, you know, both of those rides, that exchange That'll be the highest scoring exchange of the heat front of this heat. This was one of the most critical ways of the heat so far. Going to be interesting to see how the judges compare these two rides. Geordie's was as easy and smooth as it could be. This is a bigger wave. Look, it gets that lurching effect, and you see it just sort of breathe and stand up. He's really deep. This is going to be the highest scoring wave of the heat so far. As he just sneaked under that lip. That was a great way for Pedersen Crisanto. He hasn't spent that much time out here. Not too much in the point spread there. Very close, but very different rides as we see Frederico Marias. And Frederico's got to be sharp. If he wants his Vans Triple Crown title, this is important for him to get in one of those top top two spots. Well, Pedersen Crisanto using his priority here. Easy decision, good looking wave, starting to bowl out. He gets a bit of cover, not a particularly deep barrel. He's looking for a 3.01. And it just wasn't 
big enough that ride to turn in the required score for Frederico Moraes. He was after a 4.96. The heat comes to a close and another of our title contenders wins through with a victory and is progressing through to the third round.